poet. It was written, it was written by a poet. Uh, but I really love this story. It's just funny, and I like everything funny. It it sounds kind of bad, like Naaman was saying when you first hear it, uh, but but it's not anything really dirty or anything like that. You can tell it anywhere. So I, I want to do it. It's called Buying a Bra. You know, I ain't never been much for shopping. In fact, I try to stay away from town. Except when shipping time comes, I'm not easily found. But the day came when I had to go, so I left the kids with Ma. But before I left, she asked me, Honey, would you pick me up a bra? Well, without thinking, I said, Sure. How tough could that job be? I bent down and kissed her goodbye and said, I'll be home by three. Well, when I finished doing the things I needed, I was starting to regret ever agreeing to buy that thing. I was working up a sweat. But I crossed the street to the lady shop with my hat down over my eyes. I wasn't taking any chances on being recognized. I walked right up to that sales girl. I didn't him or haw. I told that woman right straight out, ma'am, I'm here to buy a bra. Well, behind I heard these snickers and I turned around to see at least 15 women in that shop and they're all gawking at me. What kind would you be looking for? Well, I just scratched my head. I'd only seen one kind before. Thought bras were bras, I said. She gives me this disgusted look and said, well, sir, that's where you're wrong. Come with me, I heard her saying like a dog I tagged along. She took me down this alley where bras were on display. I thought my jaw would hit the floor when I seen that lingerie. They had all these styles and colors that I had not seen before. I figured I'd go plumb crazy before I left that woman's store. They had bras you wear for 18 hours and bras that cross your heart. They had bras that lift and separate and that was just a start. <laughs> They had bras that made you feel like you weren't wearing one at all. And bras that you can train in when you start off when you're small. <laughs> well, I finally made my mind up and picked a black and lacy one. Told the lady, bag it up. And I figured I was done. But when she asked me for the size, I didn't hesitate. I knew those measurements by heart. Six and seven eighths. <laughs> Six and seven eighths? Why, sir, that really can't be right. Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm positive I just measured last night. I thought that she'd go in the shop. Must have took her by surprise. When I told her that my wife's bust was the same as my hat size, that's what I used to measure with. I figured it was fair. But if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, ma'am, and that drew another stare. Well, by then a crowd had gathered, and they're all cracking up when the lady asked to see my hat to measure for the cup. Well, when she finally had it figured, I gave the woman her pay, turned to leave that store, tipped my hat and said, good day. My wife had heard the whole story before I ever made it home. <laughs> She'd talked to 15 women who called her on the phone. She was still laughing, but by then I didn't care. Now she don't ask and I don't shop for no more women's underwear. <laughs>